So, so this is it behind me. Very nice. Lago di Bray, Pranga Seven o'clock in the morning, Sunday, and we're gonna go for a little hike. It's early in the morning, that's why there's almost nobody in the parking spot. If you're coming late, that's nine o'clock. I was trying to go around the Tre Cime di Lavaredo here at the Cortina, a very scenic hike, but I couldn't get to the Alm to start the hike because the street was closed. So I left the car to Amalga 
And instead of going seven kilometers on the street, I decided to take a path that is pretty steep and it's gonna bring me up there. And uh, we'll see how it works. I mean, On the way back to Cortina, I'm gonna take a swim in one of the lakes to fresh myself up. So, nice weather. It's the very first official trip after the long corona, corona COVID lockdown period. It's finally summer. I'm vaccinated and uh, I got a feeling the life starts again to be what it used to be. Cima di Lavoredo and uh, I'm coming back I'm coming back on the street now no barefoot no shoes I want to be there and baby dance the night away. I let my head down if I want. Don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time? Doesn't sound like fun. You can do better. Let me show you what a good time looks like. You can do better. So much better. If I want Let yourself be free And maybe you will find That there is more to life Than being pretty Honey, let's just be sweet You can do better Let me show you what A good time looks like You can do better So much better
Hello Cortina Today e-bike day I'm riding to the waterfall of Fanes at Durenze to cool a little bit the tired feet. one week, in summer, in one week, in the winter. Today I'm trying to get up here with a Tofana cable car, which is behind me.
Thanks, yeah. Now, the last cable car that is going on the peak. It's not open yet, but still, we have a fantastic view here from the highest pizzeria in the world, which is this here. I would really eat a pizza, but it's, I think, 10 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> and uh, I'm here just for the view. I'm gonna walk the way down to the Cortina back over there. Lago di Gedino. It's truly an amazing place, this restaurant. I said it's one of the top 10 places in the world where I would like to sit. chances that a peaceful hike a trekking in the mountains like this one would become a nightmare with snow and bad weather well the chances are pretty high so stick until the end and try not to repeat the same mistakes now the party's done Val Negra, over 2,000 meters, I'm on the way to Lago Federa, and behind me is Cortina d'Ampezzo, Dolomites, Italy, 2021. Hi, I'm Guy Angelo, and I welcome you to the Travelog. Because I won't fall in Maybe after this We can call it quits destiny Maybe we should try Maybe we should try What if it's different this time? What if Here it is where I've done my mistake. Let me show you. I've took this path right here 
and I was about to go through the forest around the mountain to get to the lake. And it was very nice. And I thought I'm going to go back the same path because it's going to be heavy rain in the afternoon. But I didn't. And this was my mistake. I thought, oh, it looks nice here. I can go on this side and I can come behind the mountain. If I'm here, I'm going to go down anyway. And I was wrong. It's getting cold outside. It's colder in here. I made ice from my jeans. So, let's go to the sauna. Don't assume I don't just because I won't fall in. Maybe after this we can call it quits destiny. coming. I made almost the half of the hike and I need about six kilometers to get back down. They see behind me in some places it's heavy rain. So I hope I'm gonna be lucky but you'd never know. So I'm prepared for everything. So let's walk. realize that just 12% of you have subscribed to the channel already so it would be cool if you subscribe and leave a like thanks When I was here already, I realized I have to go up again. I have to go up until 2400 meter. It's almost, <laughs> almost to the peak here. And you have no path anymore. There are just stones and there is snow and there is water and you don't know exactly where to go. And it was windy. It was pretty hard. And I thought the only way is to go further and to go down. So I kept going, I kept going, I kept going. And there is a point of no return. You can't go back to a certain point. So the rain come when I was still here, heavy rain, and it was pretty difficult. So if you already know it's going to be a heavy rain, take the easy way down. Don't take the hard way. heading down and I have difficulties in finding the way it's a lot of snow and you don't see the path
this to come down was pretty hard <laughs> I'm pretty exhausted and I didn't thought it's gonna be such a hard path here you had to go over the stones I thought in half an hour I'm gonna be down and uh, I needed two hours just for this this path here from the Forcella here down and I'm not I'm not ready I still have four kilometer I'm down <laughs> I'm I'm tired my feet hurts and uh, I just want to go down I used to watch this Bear Grylls adventure stuff from BBC, I guess. He was the guy who was jumping from the helicopter and uh, survived in any conditions with bare hands, eating everything. And uh, I always think of him when I'm in a situation that's a little bit Difficult dangerous. <laughs> what would bear grills do? Oh, you can hear the storm coming. Yeah, let's hurry up. That's it. I'm down at the street. I made it safe. But it's not fun. Mm -hmm. 